In the latest GPU market statistics report, John Petty Research has revealed that the GPU market grew by 38.74% and shipped a total of 119 million units in the first quarter of 2021 compared to the previous year. The report states that compared to last year, Q1 of 2020, the GPU market saw an almost 39% growth in Q1 2021. Now that overall number of GPU shipments did reach that 119 million units and given the average growth rate sticks to a 2.87% for a forecasted period from 2020 to 2025. It will also hit up to 3.333 billion units by that time. Also, it stated that while integrated GPUs dominate the GPU market, discrete GPU units are expected to reach a market share of 26% over the next five years. Now let's go over some quick highlights from this particular research paper. The GPU's overall attach rate, which includes integrated and discrete GPUs, desktops, notebooks, and workstations for PCs for this quarter was 117%, up from 4% of last quarter. The overall PC CPU market decreased by 4% quarter to quarter and increased 39% year over year. Desktop graphics add-in boards, AIBs used for discrete GPUs, increased by 7% over the last quarter. Now this quarter saw no change in tablet shipments from last quarter, and that's about it for the highlights. Let's uh, talk about some of those things, right? So it's quite a growth given the whole situation that the GPU market has been witnessing ever since the start of last year. The GPU market faced severe supply chains due to the pandemic and we also saw a boom in mining and increased demand for gaming graphics cards. This led to scarce stock and availability issues in retail segments which further led to price inflation which is still affecting the market. However, over the past few weeks, we have seen signs of recovery, and with Bitcoin falling down compared to what it has been over the past few months, well, there are more GPUs entering the retail segment. If this continues, then we can see a market recovery by the end of 2021. As far as the overall market share, AMD saw a drop of 0.12% versus the previous quarter, Intel saw a drop of 0.5% versus the previous quarter, while Nvidia's share increased by 0.62% over the previous quarter. In the discrete segment, AMD saw a share of 1% while Nvidia saw a share drop of 1%. So one went up, one went down by a percentage. So the share levels in the dedicated GPU segment are pretty much the same. During the previous quarter, Intel shipped its first Tiger Lake H notebooks featuring its own Iris Xe GPUs and also discrete GPUs from Nvidia. Now, Nvidia has a very strong lineup in the GeForce RTX 30 Max-Q GPUs as far as AMD Ryzen and Intel Core powered notebooks go. AMD has also shipped several laptops based on its Cezan ships with integrated GPUs and also NVIDIA GPU options. Now AMD did just recently announce its Radeon RX 6000 M GPUs which are coming with their Advantage notebooks very soon. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past, and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.